Hello there, and welcome to Let's Play To The Moon. To The Moon was a game created by a man named Kan Gao. Uh, it was created in November 2011 using the RPG Maker XP engine, and was released on Steam on September 8, 2012. So without further ado, let's get into it. Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out from nowhere. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Okay, so, uh... You can move around by clicking on the mouse here, or you can use the arrow keys. I might use a combination of both uh, to move around. Well, let's go and grab the equipment from the car. Cop the sucker. Let's roll. So we can right-click here, and you can see our characters here. Uh, Dr. Neil Watts, Technician Specialist, Sigmund Corp, and Dr. Ava Rosalind, Senior Memory Trans Traversal Agent. Sigmund Call. Cool. We don't have any notes at the moment, and this is uh, some kind of equipment. Okay, good stuff. Oops. Right click to get out of that. Oh no, what happened to this poor squirrel? Oh come on, I crushed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crush the car and evade it? Mm, that's asking too much. Okay, let's read the sign. Wiles household ahead. Putting up a sign where they live in the middle of nowhere is last thing we robbed. Hey wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. How thoughtful of you. Hello, birdies. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call our night and blame it on that. <laughs> Well, I think we've come this far. I think we better just try uh, find a branch. That sounds like a good idea. A branch will do. Okay, we've got the tree branch. All right, this better work. Oh, what was that? I, I, I don't even. It's some kind of air ball. 
Uh, right. We need to get going for now. Right. Oh. Someone's playing a practical joke on us. How funny. Ooh. Hello, Miss Girls. Sorry we ran over your friend before. Ah, they're here. Not a bad to place to retire at, huh? Hmm, I could do better. Night chefs. Love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably going to be an all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd even have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And... oh. Don't forget the equipment, moron. I didn't get paid enough of this. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosalind, I presume. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay. I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9-to-5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Uh, listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. Oh, no, no. He just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my pack breaks one day, I'll see you with the insurance claim. Receive the equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Okay, so it looks like we're in control of uh, Dr. Rosalind here. And I guess um, something that came out to me uh, when we were talking about caretaker is that she specified that, um, you know, that her medical, the, the uh, Johnny's medical doctor was upstairs. So it kind of implies that. I guess these two characters that we're playing right now, um, they're not uh, medical doctors in that sense. But I think all will be revealed in a moment. Let's just check out this piano for the moment. Hmm. What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. Hmm. I don't know. Seems kind of interesting. Um. Let's have a look over here. The patient is waiting upstairs. Better not waste time. I guess it's kind of forcing us down this path in a moment. So let's head upstairs. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play for Melody. No fair. You pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two nights anyway.
Most kids are pretty good for her age. Hey, you're the one who said it was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who's carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Hmm. I'm inclined to agree. The best kids are pretty good. I know I can't play like that. Anyway, let's go in this room. Oh, That was rather abrupt. Does it restart we go back out? <laughs> oh, it does. That's realism. Kind of. Um, let's talk to this doctor first. He's unresponsive at this point, but by, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Hmm. What's down here? A painting by of a lighthouse by the cliffside. A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sort. And lastly, a casual painting of three people. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's uh, talk to his caretaker. Ready to set up? Yeah, let's set up. Yes, it'll be just a moment. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were have to say, if I were to say, he's got just a day or two left. And that's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try at least. But we always succeed because we're awesome. So what's the wish? The moon. Oh, the moon. The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The keys is just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That. Uh, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. For the years that we have uh, worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you might be able to find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed up for you two. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Hmm, I think I'll have to roll with Dr. Watts here. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. I remember you playing Watson. Hmm, same thing. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Mm. Well, I think a lot of interesting things have happened here. Uh, apparently we're supposed to grant this man uh, his dying wish, I guess. And uh, he's, he's led a very mysterious life, it seems. We don't know much about him. Or if, even if we can grant him his wish. But anyway, I think it's a good place to uh, just leave it for now. I'll see you guys next time.